Pirates fight for old Southwestern, so I'm a modern deer. Pirates fight for old Southwestern, so victory is near. To Southwestern will be loyal to the sun from from the sky. And remember to the end that a fight will never die. Pirates fight, yeah we win, ayy. Pirates fight, oh, to the end, whoa. Pirates fight, yeah, yeah we win, ayy. Pirates fight. It's exciting when you know that you're going to have a day off, you know you're going to be able to hang out with all your friends and um, the guys on the team and to be able to go out and do something that I haven't done before, go to California, go to Santa Monica, um, visit the pier, that's all exciting stuff. I mean, I wouldn't be able to go do that unless I was in college football on a team. To play a team from California because they also have like a really rich football like culture, like not as good as Texas, but definitely a rich football culture. and. Uh, I just, I like traveling with all the, my teammates, it's pretty fun, it makes the trip enjoyable and uh, yeah I think that's some of the, the best part about it and also it makes you feel closer to like a D1 team traveling like across the nation to play another D1 team and things like that. It just feels more like you're a college football player I would definitely say. It was, I mean it was a blast and then we got some uh, free time on the pier. I uh, got to walk around, you know, uh, see the ocean, see that side of things. So I, I know uh, I talked to a couple guys. That was their first time actually, like, you know, leaving Texas or even, you know, uh, flying on a plane, you know, being in California. So it was a lot of first for a lot of people, uh, and it was just really exciting. Coach Austin, I love Coach Austin, man. Uh, I definitely applaud that man for his sacrifice. Uh, he he is one. He is become one-on-one -on -one with us and I love it so much. I, I didn't really understand him as a person too early on in the year but like I said as years went on we became a lot closer and I'm, I'm very proud that he decided to reach out to us in the ways he did and because it made me feel more open to reach out to him uh, from not just now but whenever, whenever the time comes in the future. Uh, so I love that man. Uh, I, 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 wanna, I just want to express my my, <laughs> I just want to express how, how fun it was to be a part of his team uh, the next time I see him, actually, which will probably be sometime this week. Uh, but yeah, I've, I have some, some very positive words for that man that I want to express to him soon enough. So, uh, He's a great dude. Uh, I, I love him. Um, he's really, um, he's opened up his home to us. Um, we have Sunday night uh, dinners and, and watch football games at his house. Um, you know, he, he's evolved as a coach and, and as a man since, since I've been here. So it's, it's great to see his, his evolution. Jocelyn, Jocelyn is a very invested uh, head coach. Uh, he's our special teams, uh, I guess, coordinator now. And on top of that, uh, he, you know, being head coach, he bounces back and forth uh, between offense and defense of, uh, you know, meeting rooms, uh, different lifts and stuff like that. And uh, so he's very involved. He likes to be here. He's extremely organized. I'll say that about Coach Austin. He's extremely organized. He has, you know, he has every second of the day planned for himself and for us. And so, uh, you know, it's nice to have somebody who's organized running the show because you know exactly what's expected of you. Coach Austin, he's he's a ball of energy, man. I think a lot y'all don't really see his. Uh, his other side, but he's fun when, when we're in practice. He loves to get teed up. <laughs> he loves to just keep us all focused at the same time, though, but he likes to have fun. He's a good guy, too. From the coach's standpoint, we have Coach Mass, Coach Ross, Coach Hallett. Uh, coach Austin puts in every now and then, and I love it because his input always works. He was a great football player as well. But from the coaches I name, you know, everybody, they all are true football coaches, I feel like. You know, they love this game more than anything. This game, I, I call it like ball is life. Football is life to them. You know, our coaches give everything up for us to be successful out on the field, you know, and I think that's absolutely important for a team to have is coaches that are dedicated. And this is not just a job to them, but this is a passion. This is a hobby. This is something that, you know, they've been wanting to do or something that they've been doing that their whole life been involved in this game of football. So. I think here you'll have coaches who actually care about you 
I'm not saying like at higher divisions or higher, you know, different schools, you, there are coaches who don't care, but um, all the coaches here have made it a personal point to come talk to me and get to know me and just know me as a person, not as a football player. And I think that's huge for me. And, um, but yeah, during practice, uh, they're serious, but at the same time, they're not scared. They're like, you know, mess around, make sure you're a little bit eased up. Um, Coach Mask is a, he's a good guy. He's a uh, really wholehearted. And um, I think he genuinely cares so much more about this program than a lot of people. And I, and you know, obviously everyone cares about the program, but I, he's player, he's played here. So obviously he has that connection too. And oftentimes he uses it to connect with us on a deeper level. And uh, I think that makes him all the better as a coach. And so, yeah, I have a lot of love for Coach Mass, and I appreciate everything he's done. Um, our quarterback coach and our co-offense coordinator is Coach Mask. Um, he switched over to the quarterback position from the running backs, and he has just done a tremendous job. It's really exciting to see what he's doing and what he's going to do for this offense. Our academics are very important. Um, I know in our, our team meeting room, we have a display of, of guys who get a 3.0 every semester um, so you know people can see you know the guys that are doing good it's definitely uh, not education revolves around art it's not like football first then education it's definitely education first so even you know when we have practices on during test days coach Austin's like you know if you all need to leave early or go study take care of that football will be waiting for you when you get back but uh, Definitely, there's even a board in our team meeting that's, uh, that has all the high academic pirates in there uh, that were awarded uh, their GPAs for the semester before. So it's definitely looked upon as being really important in the program, and we pride ourselves on being uh, one of the smartest teams in the conference. Uh, with our school, you know, Southwestern's a very difficult school, uh, but we definitely pride academics here. If you're not doing good in academics, they're gonna pull you. They're gonna, they're gonna not play you. They're going to tell you, you need to focus on that first. And uh, I think that's a big thing, too, because there are some coaches in different schools who are going to tell you, oh, we'll get that fixed for you. Like, they're going to try and, you know, talk to the teachers or whatever. No, it's not, it's not like that here. You get your stuff done, you keep your grades up, you get to play football in that order. I think um, the most enjoyable thing about practice, is, especially this year, is that our team became more of a family rather than just a bunch of guys who came out here to play football. And so you go out there and you're able to mess around, crack jokes with guys while still maintaining that level of focus for practice. And um, especially with the, the quarterback room that I'm in, it was just a, an amazing group of guys who brought that excitement to every single practice and kind of let you relax and let you stay in a comfortable area because you're around guys that are comfortable with you um, while also pushing you to be a better version of yourself and a better player for the team. Um, so we established bucks, um, so that means brotherhood, urgency, consistency, and sacrificing. And I think the very first thing that came to my mind was brotherhood. We need to work on uh, becoming united as one and uh, continue that culture going forward. And I think culture is one of the most important things in the football program that you need to address. But yeah, I think those attributes were very important. This season, like brotherhood for sure, I think that's been like the, probably the thing that was the most powerful part of our team was brotherhood. And then urgency, urgency was something that we had to learn but I think we definitely like aced that test. You could say like we definitely learned how to be urgent. The C, consistency. Whenever we were more consistent this year, we were actually winning a lot more games. And uh, going forward, I think that culture has completely changed from a couple of years ago to where we will start winning a lot of games. And I think that whenever we switch conferences, we're gonna be conference champs. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of big things in this program moving forward and I'm really excited for that. Personally, I think consistency is probably the biggest thing. Reason being is because our offense is so high powered, like as far as just the athletes go and the playmakers. And um, sometimes we shoot ourselves in the foot, but when we're clicking, we're clicking. So if we can consistently, consistently be on point and just executing, there's no telling what we can do. And then for sacrifice, I mean, I would say like it's your choice to play football here. So you're not really sacrificing anything in that respect. 
what you're sacrificing is like Southwestern has so many things to do and like I think you're sacrificing some of those opportunities that you would have to do something else. We we because we talk about sacrifice a lot. That's a lot of few people's favorite on the team. That'll probably be like my second favorite. But sacrifice is big. People got to understand. You know, sacrifice isn't coming to practice. Sacrifice isn't coming to meetings. You know, sacrifice is doing extra stuff on and off the field. You know, what are you going to do at practice? What are you going to do after practice? Are you going to sacrifice me personally? I sacrifice getting water for more reps. You know, I sacrifice. I, off the field, I sacrifice, you know, time to sleep to watch film. I, I sacrifice time to sleep to do homework. Time to sleep. I, I, yeah, I sacrifice sleep for a lot of things, if you want to be completely honest with you. But, you know, sacrificing is big here because that is the only way you can see development. I feel like you have to be able to give something up to get something. So, uh, I mean, just, just the definition of being a pirate to me, um, it means coming in here, uh, loving what you do, um, you know, working with those words, bucks, you know, brotherhood. Um, urgency, consistent, um, and sacrificing because that's what it's going to take for us to, to get to the next level and win some championships here. We have a solid couple three game win streak kind of closing out the, the year and that's just that's really exciting it helps drive and motivate us to get better this off season build on what we already have going so being able to go into next year with those three games win I mean we, we remember how to win you know and it it helps us and helps get us um, ready to go and be able to want to, to drive and get to that feeling again next year. Um, I think there was a transition in the middle of the season where we finally started to click on a few things. We started to figure ourselves out. We started to figure out what worked for us, what, what didn't work for us. And when all that started coming together, we started winning games and we started having better games, even if it was a close game and we had lost, it was just, you got to see that overall progression and you got to see what we were building towards and being able to end the season on a three game win streak is really exciting because you have those expectations for next year and you have that okay we're going to be that team next year and um, to come off on a three game win streak really kind of solidified that for us. Sol Ross is a great game. I mean, uh, you know, uh, they, they definitely put some yards on us uh, defensively, but uh, I think uh, one of the sports uh, writers wrote, uh, we bent, but we definitely didn't break. Uh, I think we, we had a ton of turnovers that game. We were pulling the ball out all left and right. Uh, our offense was clicking, uh, you know, towards the end of the year, uh, we went on a three game win streak and uh, it was exciting. Um, I think Sol Ross, our last game of the season was that we can be the team that we want to be if we do everything that we need to do. That was one of the games where we executed everything. We did our job almost completely. Um, everybody, offense, defense, special teams, everybody was on the same cylinder and um, it was awesome. It was, it was something that made me excited. It being the end of the season, it made me sad, but it being the start to a new season, the start to a new program, and the start to a new era, um, it's definitely something to look forward to and it's exciting to work off of. Georgetown's a great city. It's uh, there's a lot of things to do in Georgetown, ways to have fun, and then you also have the academic side where um, there's some of the best school and academics you can get in Texas is right here in Georgetown at Southwestern. So the mix of those two, along with football, it's just kind of like a like a total package kind of deal, you know. The school stood out in all aspects of what I wanted to do, you know, as far as my college life. You know, I wanted to play football somewhere that was, they were good at football. I wanted to have a good education, but you know. Man, there are a lot of great things being a part of this program. Uh, you definitely, you definitely have a lot of opportunities to uh, improve yourself, not only as an athlete, uh, but as a person, as a friend, uh, and in the future, as a father. All my decision in choosing Southwestern is, it's bigger than football here. You know, this program is about, of course it's about football, it's about winning games, but outside of that, it's about the discipline. It's about the learning and the responsibility as a man. And I feel like that 
is what a lot of people should want to do. It, I understand football is life. I understand football is part of the game, but football also brings a bigger picture on it helps you become a better man, it helps you become a better person. I think no other team in our conference or not even in the nation offer like the type of things that Southwestern offers outside of football. Because I know like not many D3 players go to the NFL and if you're playing D3 football you're probably not thinking about going to the NFL, you're thinking about having a good life afterwards. So I think Southwestern is the best place to prepare for that and that's what allured me here. Coach Mask was at a camp and he just really struck a, a nerve and like in a, in a good way. And uh, he, he knew that, it, he showed me it was, he was dedicated to uh, not just the, the players but the organization in general. And uh, that really kind of made me feel like this was my home and that I could come here and I can develop not only as a player but as a man as well. I took one visit here, like Georgetown, Texas. I'll go check it out. Immediately, uh, you go to the stadium for your visit and you check out. It's a huge stadium. I think it holds around like 10, 10 to 15,000 people. A uh, really big stadium and they kind of show you where you'll be playing on Saturdays and then they bring you uh, on campus and it's just, I think it's probably the most beautiful campus on, uh, in the state of Texas for sure. Uh, there's a lot of awesome, cool architecture on campus, old buildings. It's actually the oldest university in the state of Texas. So um, there's some really cool things there, but also they've updated those buildings too. So it's uh, kind of that old, older looking feel, but it's uh, modern inside. And there's a new science building, um, new dorms being built in the future. There's really a lot of exciting plans coming to Southwestern. I think we're gonna be great. I think we have so much potential and everyone's starting to get on board at first. People obviously have doubts. They've heard our record. People always talk down about us. And, um, you know, coming in and probably like, oh, well, I don't know how this is going to go. But then as we start clicking, becoming family, just, you know, practicing together, being close, we realize that we can do a lot more than people say. I have really high expectations for this net, this upcoming season. I think the guys we have are going to work really hard this off season to improve where we need to improve. And I feel like we're going to come into next season feeling pretty good, not only about ourselves, but about our expectations and how the season's gonna go. Particularly get hyped, hyped. Like, you got people, like, some defensive players, a guy named Pat, he'll always come out, he's vocal, he's loud, he's gonna get everyone around you uh, just riled up. Me, I like to kind of stay more quiet, just listen to my music and kind of feel the energy. And I'll take it in, but I don't really express it until I get on the field, and then it's just, I'm letting it all out with my runs, with my blocks, everything. Uh, I think on game days, everybody has their own special routine, everybody has their own way of getting to where they need to be energy-wise. Um, I'm definitely not the biggest hoorah guy. I don't get too pumped up, too amped up because I'm trying to stay focused and trying to maintain what I know. And um, But it's exciting seeing the guys around you finally being able to go out and prove what they've done all week and be able to go show their family, show their friends, show everybody that they're ready to play and what they can do. Um, it's a really exciting feeling to be around, seeing just the smiles on everybody's face, the look of focus in everybody's eyes, and being able to go out there and just freaking work for four hours with the guys that you've been around all week, all year, all season. It's, it's an amazing experience. It's definitely different than a high school game day. Uh, you know, you're coming out with, uh, you know, 100, 119 guys when we're at home. We, we travel everyone for home. Uh, and even away, we, you know, bring the max amount. Uh, you come out and there's an energy, a different level of energy coming into one of these games because the speed of the game is sped up a lot. Uh, and it's just an atmosphere, uh, you know, at our home games when you're walking through the cheerleaders, you're walking through all the fans, uh, they're all tailgating out there and then you walk into this massive locker room in one of the biggest stadiums, I think, in Division Three, and, you know, you go out through the, you know, walk out there, Coach Austin leads us, uh, you know, through, through the cheerleaders on game day, and uh, we go down there, and then, you know, we put in work, and we, we, we win. Um, it's it's nerve-wracking. Um, I, I feel excited, um, but I'm trying to contain it, and in the and then once I hit the field and I leave the locker room, it's like just a big burst of energy. Um, it, it just hits me and uh, I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I mean, if you want to come here to Southwestern, get ready to come here and make an impact, you know. Don't be a guy that sits around and waits for his, for his name and number to be called. Come in with the idea that you're going to come on this team and make an impact and uh, help us win, you know. We don't need a whole bunch of bench warmers. We need some, some athletes coming here to to make a statement and help us win a championship.
obviously, and you know, we're gonna preach this, you're gonna hear from anybody who goes here, but the education is so important to us, and um, us being one of the highest educated schools, like uh, ranking wise, it's crazy, and you're gonna get so many good professors that just teach you and they care, they invest in you. In a, in a D1 school or a higher college or whatever like that, you, they have so many students, they're not gonna remember you. All my professors know my name, and they respond to my emails timely, uh, timely and uh, they're always looking out for me. They, they're trying to give me extra credit, make sure I'm good, trying to make sure I'm passing, regardless of what's happening, and they're really lenient and they care. So that's a big thing for recruits to know that Obviously you're a student athlete and um, you're going to be taken care of on the academic side and then you can do your thing over here on the athletic side after that too. I really enjoyed my four years but I know it's going to be a lot better in the next coming years and it's, uh, I think it's crazy not to look at this program as an opportunity to get here and get better. Coming here, you're going to be challenged but the challenge will make you, it'll let you know who you really are and I think that is what everybody needs and Southwestern is definitely a place that can help you find out what you are and what you want to do and who you want to be.